I was told not to speak uh, so that I could uh, keep other people comfortable. October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. A new short film explores the culture of silence around the topic and hopes to dispel the stigma surrounding it. Amir, my son, was born before the pandemic started. We didn't expect him to be born alive, but he was, and he died on my chest. During her 20-week ultrasound, Shirin Moyuddin learned her unborn son would not survive. She chose to carry him to term and say goodbye to him in her arms. I'm at a loss for words right now, but the, the pain is unbearable. And then when you ask, when you tell someone, don't talk about it, there's a reason why, sadly, uh, there are some mothers who succumb to their depression and, and end up taking their lives. Mohyuddin says she channeled her grief into creative expression with a short film called Angel Mama, co-produced with director Ramla Anwar Ali. It highlights the shame and guilt associated with pregnancy loss, miscarriages and abortions, especially in the South Asian community. We were always taught to never speak up about things that upset us, to just ignore these kind of uh, conversations because it was too difficult to to deal with, too difficult to handle. There weren't people who were able to explain certain situations to us, so we were just told to never talk about it. Mohyuddin says she hopes the film will open up conversations for others as it also helped her. If I want to continue to live, what's not going to want me to take my own life? It's to do something that um, makes me feel empowered and makes me feel okay and tell people listening or watching that you know what your mother may have gone through this your sister may have gone through this you may go through it, unfortunately and this is not something easy to go through but if you don't open the floor for people individuals to discuss what they're going through how do you expect your children or your future generation to come and tell you hey ma or hey dad this is what i'm going through um how do we build and grow as a community how do we um make sure resources are in place. Anwar Ali agrees, adding that while great strides have been made in recent years, there's still a long way to go. I've had experiences where I still get told that I'm making a big deal out of things, or I get titled as being too sensitive or too emotional, but in reality, that's just me healing with my trauma from the past. I always have this debate with myself whether I should you know, ask my parents, for example, or my rel relatives to change according to the time and even though, you know, we can't completely blame them for their mentality, it's still up to us, um, you know, in this day and age to make these little differences so that, you know, our children and grandchildren can have like a, a safer space. Angel Mama will be released on YouTube on Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day on October 15th. For City News, I'm Doshad Berman.